Yesterday, I released a video where I showed step-by-step step how it is that I color correct and color grade C-Log coming straight out of the new Canon EOS R. And I also released a love pack associated with it. And I got one comment in there that said, hey, why don't you just use the Airy LUT or the Alexa LUT that's built into Resolve. So I figured I would make a video just to show you what that difference is. And then you can judge for yourself if that is a better path for you versus using some of the LUTs that I released. Of course, I prefer my own LUTs, but I figured I would go ahead and show you. So let's jump into Resolve and let's take a quick look. So I have a scene here. My nodes are not active, right? They're not turned on. Um, what I'll do is I'm gonna reset both nodes. So here it is, the image that is completely untouched, right? And this is exactly what we get when it's seed locked straight out of the camera and you're exposed correctly. And what I mean by exposed correctly is if we look at the waveform, all right, so if I look at the waveform, then I am definitely not clipping the highlights and I'm also not crushing any of the shadows. So that's what the advantage is when you're shooting in the C-Log. It actually helps you protect both the shadows as well as the highlights, the shadows as in less noise, right? So on the first node, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the Airy or the Alexa LUT so that you can see what that does to the image as well as what it does to the actual waveform. So I'm gonna right click, I'm going to LUTs selecting 3D LUT, and then there is Airy. So Airy Alexa Log C to Rec 709. I click on it and bam, we get a very crunchy image. And on top of it being crunchy, Bert's skin is blotchy. The sky has zero depth or detail. In fact, it looks very, very, in my opinion, video, not cinematic. So to fix that, I have to figure out or I have to drop the highlights so that I could see if I could recover any of that information. And I sure can. And here, check this out. So we're beginning to see this, these electrical poles in the background, even though they're blurry, where before that, and I'll just undo, they're basically almost invisible. <laughs> so dropping it can help, but then it's dropping the entire exposure. And if I increase, so that's looking a little better. So this is about as good as I'm going to get this image with the Airy LUT in Resolve, but the blotchiness in the skin is still very much there. That of course does not fly for me. It doesn't work. So I'm going to disable that node. And then in the second node, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to apply my favorite LUT, which is the one that I created. So I'm going to LUTs, 3D LUTs. I'm pulling up, uh, where's Media IQ? Media IQ LUTs, that's what I call my folder. And then I'm going to apply EO, EOS R C Log to Rec 709 Medium Contrast. I apply it and right away we can see there is um, a change in my waveform or in my scope, right? And if I look at the full, um, you know, so we can see full screen here, we can see that there is no blotchiness on bird skin. There is significantly more detail in the highlights. In other words, the highlight roll off is much more um, cinematic. It's softer. It's a softer roll off. It's not crushing it or making it look like video. And essentially, this shot is ready to move on into stylizing if you want to. So I've made zero adjustments other than dropping in my LUT. So again, here is 
my LUT, which is the media IQ LUTs that I had released yesterday, versus what we can get out of the Airy LUT, which is a lot more crunchy because it's made for the Alexa, it's not made for the Canon EOS R. So just understand that that is the fundamental difference. The Alexa is not an 8-bit camera, right? So that is what's happening. And again, I just wanted to go ahead and share this because if I'm trying to get through, you know, a ton of videos or a ton of clips like I have here in my timeline, the fastest way for me to do this is to literally use my own LUTs and I have a much more finished and polished product. If you want to check out the LUTs, I'll leave a, a link below. Until next time, catch you later.